Hey chefs, it's so good to see you. This week in Pepita's preschool is butterfly week and I'm wearing my great grandmother's butterfly necklace. It's made out of metal. And today we're gonna make butterfly burritos. I went to the store to buy tortillas and do you wanna know something? They're out of tortillas. And so I said, well, okay, that was surprising. I will make my own tortillas. I have to warn you, I don't make tortillas very often, and I am not an expert at making tortillas, but I think this could be kind of fun for us to do together, and I will leave a link to the video that I watched um, with the recipe that I'm using to make tortillas. We're gonna make flour tortillas today, and um, we're gonna use vegetable oil instead of lard because I don't eat lard, and so there's lots and lots of different ways to make tortillas. If you wanna make a gluten-free tortilla, then you should look for a corn tortilla recipe, um, and there's just a lot of different ways that you can do that. So today we're gonna start out with some flour and some, let's see what else do we have here. We have some oil, some water, and some salt, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do in a mixing bowl is we're gonna put in two cups of flour, and this is a half a cup, so I need to put in four of these. Here's one cup. One and a half cups. Two cups. There's two cups of flour. I'm gonna put in a generous pinch of salt, about half a, half a teaspoon of salt. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my rings because I'm going to be putting my hands in the flour. And of course, I washed my hands really well before I started cooking. And I'm gonna put in my oil. I'm using avocado oil. Any vegetable oil would be just fine. I'm actually gonna start with a fork to start getting it incorporated. And I'm gonna gently stir it in. And my water, is warm. So the recipe called for warm water. And so I put in warm water. I'm going to stir this around. Oh, it's looking really good. Okay, so you're going to want to give it a gentle stir. I don't want any of my ingredients to fall out of my bowl. I want to make sure they all stay in. That's looking great. And now that it's mostly stirred up like this, I'm going to switch to my hands because I want to squeeze it together to make a nice ball. Okay? So I'm going to push my hands in here and I'm going to start squeezing it together. And as I squeeze it together, oh, it's looking really good already. I'm loving this. It's starting to form a really nice and I pressed stop. So here's the second part of my video. Oh dear. We'll see how this goes today. All right, I'm putting it all in. I wanna knead it all together. Okay. Oh, I'm really happy with this dough. It's sort of sticky, but it doesn't stick to my hands. And when I hold it, it stays together. So that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna get these last little bits out of here and I'm gonna put them right on the top so that they can be in also, cause I wanna make as many tortillas as I can. I'm gonna fold them in and gently press it in feels so good on my hands and also very satisfying. It is mysterious to me why we don't make our own tortillas more often. I'm gonna put the little last few drops of oil into the bottom of my bowl and I'm gonna smear it around on the bottom so that my bottom of my bowl is a little greasy. I'm gonna put my dough right into the bottom and I'm going to cover it. I have a wax cover here and you can use a towel or if your bowl has a lid, you can use that. 
Um, and I'm going to set this to the side so that it can rest for 15 minutes. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Our dough has been sitting in its um, bowl for 15 minutes. I'm going to take off the lid and it looks the same, but it's had time to rest. And it's also gotten warmer. So that feels kind of interesting. I'm going to take a few pinches of flour and set the flour down on here. And I'm going to divide my dough into balls. So first I'm going to make it in half. I'm going to make four tortillas because I want mine to be kind of large because the people who are eating at my house are kind of large. So I'm actually, you know what, maybe I'll do, I'm going to make, cut them in half, creating little balls. And so then I'm going to make little balls. Okay, I want them to look like this. And you, you kids can do this, no problem. And then once you make a ball, you put it back in the dish. And make another one. And another one. There's my timer. I think I started a couple moments early. Also, I feel like my timer is not totally accurate. All right, I'm almost done. I've got eight balls. I'm going to have eight tortillas here. And my last tortilla, I use this flour so that it doesn't stick to anything. Okay, this is the first one we're going to make. And we're going to put the lid back on here because we want to keep our we want to keep our tortilla balls nice and moist. We don't want them to dry out. Now you're going to need to get your rolling pin. Okay, this is my rolling pin. And you're going to take a little bit of flour and you're going to gently put flour all over your rolling pin, okay? And then you're going to press down and you can readjust. Making a perfectly round tortilla takes quite a lot of practice. And so if your tortilla is not totally round, you shouldn't worry. The more important thing about your tortilla is that it's delicious. One way to get it round is to move it around, to, to change the angle of how you're rolling it out and to be gentle with it. Okay, and you don't wanna make it too thin. But you do wanna make sure that it's all pressed out. This is not the most beautiful tortilla, but it fits perfectly with our theme, which is that butterfly burritos are butterfly burritos because they are all different. All right, I have my first tortilla ready to be made. So we're gonna move over to the stove and we're gonna cook it. And this is a part where you're gonna need to get an adult to help you out. We do not have preschoolers on the stove normally. And so we're gonna take our tortilla to the stove and we're gonna cook it up, okay? Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's some bubbles forming on our tortilla. That's a really good sign. We want that to happen. And we're just gonna be a little bit patient. I can hear it crackling a little bit, but I don't wanna get too close. Look at this bubble is forming here. I'm gonna use a tongs to flip it over. Uh, I flipped it over too soon. It's not really ready, not really ready yet. It needs more time. That's the beautiful thing about tortillas. You can just flip them back. You can see there's more bubbles. And I think on my next tortilla, I'm actually gonna roll it out thinner than this, even thinner than this. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. And I can see it has some nice golden cook spots on there. It looks really yummy. I'm so excited to have my burrito.
All right, it needs one more moment and we're gonna take this um, cooked tortilla right over and we're gonna make a burrito together. Hi, okay, we have our tortilla, it's ready to go. And you, the next thing you have to ask yourself is what are you gonna put in your burrito? There's so many choices. Lots of people put beans and rice and cheese. They put salsa, sour cream, avocados, lettuce, cucumbers. Some people put peanut butter. Some people just eat their tortilla plain and call it a burrito. You're the chef. You get to pick what you're doing. Um, if you're looking for some great ideas, I recommend this book. It is so yummy. Everything in it is delicious. Um, but this is what I'm gonna put in my burrito for my lunch today. We are gonna have some refried beans, some brown rice, some spinach, some avocado, and a squeeze of lime. So I'm actually gonna squeeze the lime right onto my rice, and I'm gonna give it a gentle stir, and I'm gonna open up this can of beans right here. You're gonna need to have an adult help you find um, your can opener and open that up for you. And then this part is gonna be really sharp, so you want them to take care of that for you also. And I'm gonna take my tortilla. I'm gonna put some beans on it. I'm gonna spread it around. This is more like a taco, turning into a taco than a burrito. I, I, can, I, I admit that, but I feel really happy anyways. Even though my original plan didn't happen, I'm feeling thankful for this delicious lunch. And I'm gonna use my spoon, which is kind of dirty, but since I'm the only person eating it, I'm cool with it. I'm gonna put my avocado on there. It has a lot of avocado, but I'm fine with that. And you know what? I wanna make my burrito a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to my burrito, which I'm gonna grab from my spice drawer. Cayenne pepper. Delicious. Here it is. It's kind of spicy, so you want to take it easy and put a little bit on. You can always add more, but you don't want to really have to try to take it off. It's tricky business. Okay, so here's my burrito taco, and mine is going to look different than yours, and yours is going to look different than everyone else in your family, and that is why it's like a butterfly, because it's beautiful, and it's different than everyone else's. Should we take a taste? I want to take a taste. Mm, excuse me? Mmm, that is really good. I'm feeling excited. And I'm looking forward to hearing about how your tortillas work. Maybe you already have tortillas in your house and you don't even have to make any. But if you don't have tortillas in your house, let me just tell you right now, Albertsons is out, so don't even go. Make your own. They are delicious. I love you, preschoolers, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.